Okay, whenever creating a contact sheet, we will use Adobe Bridge, which is this right here, BR, which hopefully you have pinned to your taskbar. If not, then make sure you visit that app here in your Windows menu and right click and select pin to start or pin to taskbar. You can also drag and drop it there too. All right, so I already have it here and I have the program open and I'm ready to make a contact sheet. First thing to do is make sure that you have all your images for a specific shoot in a specific folder already on your computer, preferably your student drive. Um, this will not work with images straight from your Google Drive. They already need to be on the computer itself. So here we go. Um, the way that you navigate through this is through finding files using favorites and folders um, and the content window here. I make sure that I'm in essentials for right now. And so for right now, I'm going to go to, you'll see that these will change according to whatever is over here. So I have this PC, libraries, and so on. So if I go to this PC, you should be able to see your student drive over here. It would be shown with your student ID number. Mine shows my name. If these aren't large enough, you can look down here at the bottom and you can change it to a different size here. Change the tile sizes. So this is what I want. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go into my sample folder and I have a collection of images here. Some of them are Photoshop files. Some of them are JPEGs. And I thought I had a high efficiency one in here, but I think I've already converted it. So no reason to worry about that. So these are the images I want. Here's a great place where you can um, select those images and rename them. A good place to do that is here. Um, you can also see that, hey, here are some images of, um, you know, and if you wanted to see like the dates of some of the images, you can check that out there as well. Anyways, um, the point is to create a contact sheet, so I'm going to get right to it. I've got these images here, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, uh, I've got 20 something images. And that's fine, because what I want to do is go to Output, and using those images, which I can scroll through and see right here, I can also minimize these so I can see them smaller and I can also expand this as well to change the size there. Um, if I go back to essentials I can select all of them here go to output and they're all selected here as well because sometimes this can be annoying trying to select from a single scrolling bar. Um, so once they're selected what I can do is grab these and drop them onto this document. And now it says page two of two. If I scroll through, let's see if it's done. I may still be thinking about it. Let me reset this first. Now let's try dropping them on there. It says 22 images. Now I can see both of them. All right. Now, if yours does not show as mine does, four by five, then up here in the template, change this to say, 4x5 contact sheet. This will be the standard that we use for most photo shoots in this class. So make sure that that is selected. Um, another thing you might see is one of these options and sometimes it will look like this. All of these document options can stay the same. Those don't have to change. I'll close that. I'm going to go to header and footer and I do want to include a footer and this is where you would type in your name and whatever the assignment title might be. It's on a photo shoot, whatever it is we have going on right now. And it's going to show up on the right hand side. Okay. Assignment title will go there and I can see it pops up right up here on the side. All right. So now all of that's good. Once I have all of that set, I'm going to go to export PDF. I'm going to tell it where to save to. I'm going to save it to my same folder where my images are 
keep things nice and tidy. I'm going to call it the same thing. You hear my computer buzzing. It's because it's rendering something right now. So I'm sorry about that. And it's saving as a PDF, which is good. And I'm going to click save. Showing a little progress bar on another window. And here's my PDF that was just created. Let me zoom out because it's at 180%. So I have two sheets. There's 22 images total. And at least this particular one, this example is. Um, and so there's my images. They're all labeled as I had them labeled or not labeled. In most cases, you'll have images labeled, especially for 26 things. And once this is done, you know where that file is. You can locate that file using your Windows Explorer. And here's my contact sheet right there. Fulton assignment title is a PDF. And that would be the document that you then save and submit to Schoology. And that's it.